October is Health Literacy Month. So this morning on today's checklist, we've got a guide to making well-informed decisions and preparing us all for doctor visits. We have our doctor here to help, NBC News medical contributor, Dr. Natalie Azar. Good, good morning, Dr. Nat. Hi, guys. Good morning. Welcome good morning. back. So, so what do you recommend before we even get to the doctor? What are some of the things we should do to prep for the visit? There's a couple of things. And I, I know I've said it here before, and I say this to my patients all the time, especially if you're going in for a follow-up appointment. You know, some follow-up appointments are 15 to 20 minutes. Yes. It is not a long time. And by the time you get done talking about your children, you realize that you have like five minutes left, right? So make sure that you that you bring a list of the, the three most important things that you want to discuss. And don't wait until the end. This is what I say to people all the time, especially if it's an important symptom like chest pain. Come in right away and say, these are the things I'd like to get through to make sure that you give them enough time. Definitely bring or make sure that you send in your outside medical records. This is important. Not only will it make the appointment much more efficient, but you'll avoid repeating tests that have mm -hmm. always that have already been done. We talk about how extraordinarily expensive medical care is. Would it be helpful to send it ahead of time? Yeah, absolutely. And just make sure the doctor has received it, though, right. and that it can be scanned into the chart, even if it's an outside medical record. Bring your medication, and that includes supplements, things that aren't prescription. A lot of drug interactions can happen with supplements. We talk about that a lot. And the last one is really important. Depending on where your doctor practices yeah. and where you live in the country, if you know you're going to need an interpreter to translate, make sure that, you're, that the office has that capability or you can bring a family member mm -hmm. who can speak English or the, the language um, that is needed for you. That's Those are great tips. So that's, that's all we need to take with us to the appointment. To the appointment. During the appointment, <clears throat> what should we be doing? So we'll start with the, as I mentioned, obviously bringing somebody with you if you need help with, with, with the language. Bring a family member or a friend, and especially if you're a senior, yes. bring a child with you to help write, take down notes, to make sure that you're truly understanding what the doctor is saying. We welcome that, right? Because we want to make sure that you as a patient are understanding what's going on. Take copious notes, whether it's on your phone, write things down, ask questions immediately if you don't get something, find out what next steps are, and also ask for material. Do you have handouts? Is there a website I can go to? Do you have any brochures, any videos that can accompany or complement what the doctor is saying? And at the very end, just to make sure you've gotten it all, ask the doctor to recap. What are we doing? Good. What's the mm -hmm. investigation? What's the follow-up? Recap. Okay, Recap. so you think you've processed everything, you go home, and yes. then what? <clears throat> the most important thing is to follow the doctor's instructions. But if you do have questions, make sure that you write them down. And this is really important. I would recommend not, every time you think of a question, to reach out to your doctor and ask that question. Take a beat, take a couple, you're laughing, take a couple of I days. Can only I've done that. Oh, yeah, I, I can only imagine By how many way, you get. Not to right? ask, da -da -da. Take, yep. Take a couple of days, make a list, and then also ask what your doctor's preferred communication is. Do they want a phone call? Are you messaging through the electronic medical record? Make a list, and don't be surprised if your doctor says schedule a follow-up to discuss mm -hmm. if the list is lengthy. Track your symptoms and your side effects from your medication, and this is probably one of the most important things. Before, let's say your doctor starts you on a new medication, yeah. you're having side effects. Do not stop abruptly without asking if it's safe to do so. Not all medications can be stopped without a taper. You can speak to us. You can speak to the pharmacist. Super, super important. And that's about it. That's oh, all that, on my that list. That was great. You Go checked, you checked that's off my, your list. That was a yes. great checklist. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. Thanks, yeah. Dr. Azar. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.